Hey everybody, I'm uh, on the Manasquan Reservoir and um, I don't fish here that often. It's a big place, it's not easy to fish. There are a lot of big fish here, but um, for some reason I don't spend a lot of time fishing this spot. Um, there are a couple of places on this reservoir I want to try out and I'm heading there today. And I'm just uh, trolling on my way over. All right guys, I got... Uh big bluegill. Look at this guy. I was um, using the uh, <laughs> I was using the little rattle trap maybe to get a crappie or something but uh, this guy came along. Guys, I, I just lost my personal best largemouth. The thing came, camera wasn't on, but uh, Black Senko, thing came flying out of the water. And um, it had to be at least seven pounds. I'm not, <laughs> oh, unbelievable. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. Look at the size of this crappie. Wow. Oh my God. Holy crap. Holy crappie. Look at this guy. Oh my God. This is gonna be, I think this is my personal best crappie. I just lost a personal best bass. And now, look at this crappie. I'm gonna get him out of the net and show you guys. Holy crap. Look at him. Look at this guy. Nice, huh? Please measure him up here. Thirteen inches long. <laughs> Love that one. All right, let him go. Right, let's let him go now. That was awesome. What a roller coaster. Losing personal best bass and then catching a big crappie like that trolling just trolling to another area <clears throat> all right this is craziness So here, here's the crazy part. Today I was supposed to do a little uh, crappie fishing challenge with uh, Jimmy from Roar Fishing. Um, look at the card here, that's the uh, link to his channel. We we're supposed to fish for crappie today and do a little crappie fishing channel. I'm out here on the Manasquan Reservoir not fishing for crappie and I catch probably a bigger crappie than I would have caught if I was doing the crappie fishing. Whoop, here's another one. What do we have here? Nothing. <laughs> Got hit, but... A 
I'll tell you what, I'm gonna troll back in this area again. <laughs> Look at this little perch. like 95 degrees. I don't know what I'm doing out here. So on my way in here, on my way in here, you know, you got to pay for the day to fish in here and you can buy a season pass. So 3 years in a row I had a season pass. I didn't use it all that much. I didn't do uh, that well in here, so the last two years, I decided not to buy a season pass, and I even told the guy that when I was uh, right before I launched the kayak. Now, you know, I'm starting to have to rethink this. I mean, this place is only 10 minutes from my house. I should probably be spending a lot more time out here. <laughs> 